Hi, I'm Jake. I'm the concept artist behind Leap Into 3D, a new spot for Z by HP's campaign Power Your Breakthrough. I'd like to show you some of the creative work that went on behind the scenes and give you a breakdown of the first two shots. This campaign is all about helping creative professionals to level up and evolve, taking their art in new directions, opening up possibilities with new technologies like AI and 3D. The brief for this spot was to show a creative evolution through the metaphor of a tree. This tree is going to start out as a seed of an idea in a sketchbook, and as it grows, it mirrors the artist's own creative growth and expanding skill set as he takes it through 2D software like Photoshop into more advanced software and eventually ending up with a fully rendered CG blossoming tree. And at the end, we pull back to reveal that all of this has been designed, powered and rendered on Z. So we take nature as our starting point, trying to understand some of the rules so that we can apply that to our art. I believe I'm always going to come up with something more complex and interesting by taking inspiration from the natural world around me rather than just relying purely on my imagination. So we found some really interesting forms. In particular, the Japanese maple gave us some beautiful colour. But this isn't just a tree. It's an artist's reimagining of a tree. So we've got a bit of creative license here. We can drive the trunk up through the ground like a, a kind of corkscrew and we can explore new abstract forms. We can be playful with the bark, the flowers, the fungus. It could fruit into a new kind of insect. We can take our audience on a more magical journey because we've earned their trust by getting the basics right and making it feel real. In the first shot, the tree starts out just as a bunch of ideas, really, in a sketchbook. We scanned these studies and sketches into Photoshop. We use the channel selection to extract the line art. We keep all of the pencil lead, the graphite, the smudges, the things that make it feel analog and real. We export these as PNGs, and then we can start to stitch them together into larger scenes. Hopping on over to After Effects, we then lay out these to create the opening sketchbook scene. Mask reveals of pencil lines make it feel like they're being drawn on. And we combine that with bits of screen capture to make it feel like this is a work in progress, like we're watching the artist create it. We staggered the sketches in Z-Space slightly just to give the sketchbook some depth and add some subtle parallax as we move up the roots into the tree and the branches. The next shot is all about giving this tree weight. We're fleshing it out into something that feels believable. We're overlaying textures, we're working out where our light sources are and how that's going to affect the relationships between space and colour. And the trick here is to make something 2D and flat feel like something you could touch. Bringing the Photoshop layers straight into After Effects meant that I could restage the concept painting process bit by bit, building up the picture layer by layer to give it the feel of a live screen capture, whilst at the same time keeping control over all the individual layers and elements. The next shot begins our CG journey, and hopefully all this comes together to create something which feels quite magical, but still is really grounded in reality. Because that's the game, right? Even though we say from the outset, this isn't real, we still try and make them feel like this is something that could exist somewhere. 